So taking all that we've discussed into, well, together, so regulation, technology, the change of uh, preferences in investments, you mentioned sustainable investments. Sustainable investments. Um, as investment. well as, yeah, impact investments, as well as um, that transition between one generation to the next. All these things considered, how do you see private banking evolving in this region over the next five years? Uh, as I said, I think the prospects are very, very good. Private banking, I definitely think, is, is the only segment that I believe is going to definitely grow. Other segments will grow as well, but my bias will be all for private banking because that's what I've done. And the reason is because I say it's a great blend of personalized touch where you want to have a face-to-face -face meeting and have, want to have a personalized discussion with the client. Technological advances also being in that systems where they can do it online and have a look at it, as well as having unbiased approach. So with all that, I think definitely private banking is definitely here to stay. And I definitely see growth prospects are very, very much positive specifically in Middle East, with the, the growth projections that I gave you in 2017 yeah. and 2022, mm -hmm. there's definitely enough market share for enough players to be here and then actually to enjoy the benefits for that. So I definitely am very positive and excited. Okay, you mentioned market players. My last question. Yes. What is then your approach to growing Standard Chartered's private banking business in the region this year? And again, I'll, I'll divide that into three parts. So the, the, the firstly is, that we are, as I said, we want to believe in holistic approach and as a bank, our DNA is very much saying that we want to be a one-stop shop. Mm -hmm. So there's a great referral program that we have between us and the corporate and the commercial banking. So we look at cross-fertilization and looking at how do we look at the referrals and build synergies across both. So that, I think that is one of the big sort of organic growth strategy that we have is looking at internally. So definitely we, we, we're looking at that. We are number two in terms of the growth strategies for us is that we're definitely looking at increasing our RM base and then looking at growing in terms of looking at adding more senior bankers and across growing in the region. So definitely that definitely helps us in terms of having a better, better, better marketing across the client base here. So that I think is the second very important. The third and, and the most critical for me is client referrals. Mm -hmm. And saying that looking at our existing client base and how do we get referrals from them for other clients is very critical. And, and that has also been growing. So definitely we're looking at how do we find different ways. And with this impact investing, every client that we invest definitely would like to bring their other sort of family and friends to that. So that Thank has helped good. us as yeah. well. And, and, and that is also a social cause. So that has been our strategy in terms of the growth. And I think that will we'll continue with that strategy. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Thank you very much. Thank That's you very much for your time. It's a pleasure. Thank you.